We have all heard this famous quote, anyone can be a father, but it takes a special person to be a dad. This quote is not only wrong, it's also misleading. The Aramaic word Abba is not similar to Papa or Daddy. It carries more weight than that. Abba is not a term that a child would have used to address his father. Abba means foundation. It means source. It means sustainer. It means protector. The first time the word is used is in Genesis 2. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Notice that it is the man who leaves his father. The man leaves his foundation. He leaves his source, his sustainer, his protector. And he in tents becomes a father himself. He becomes the foundation, the source, the sustainer, and protector first to his wife. You thought you were a father because you had a child. Not necessarily. You were a father because you got married. And only when you perform the role of foundation, source, sustainer, and protector do you deserve to be honored as Abba, father. If you notice, the woman never leaves father. She just switches fathers. She leaves her biological father, that is her foundation, her source, her sustainer, her protector, and her husband takes on that role. That is why the person playing the role of father brings her to the altar and hands her over to you. He is transferring the responsibility of fathering to you. You are supposed to now become the foundation, the source, the sustainer and protector of this beautiful young lady. God is our father because he performs all the functions of a father. The planet, the entire planet, originated from God. That makes him the foundation of everything. Everything came out of God, so that makes him the source. He upholds what came out of him by his word. This makes him the sustainer and protector. So God our Father doesn't only create things, he sustains them. He doesn't only produce, he also maintains. This will mean that Father is not a title given to just everyone. Fathering is a function that is performed, a position that is played. When this position is not played, the person does not deserve the honor of Abba, which is Father, Source, Sustainer, Protector. Exodus 20 tells us that we should honor our father and our mother in order that our days be lengthened on the land that the Lord our God has given us. The position and the function of father must be honored. The Bible did not say honor the male or the man. It says honor your father. Honor the person performing these functions. It doesn't say honor the sperm donor who walked away or the daddy who is still around at home and not playing that key role as father figure. Fathers must earn the right to be honored. Males must and the right to be honored as fathers. Not because you have a baby makes you a father. That's an error. Father means source and sustainer. If you produce the sperm and you're not sustaining the kids, you don't deserve the right to be called a father. If you get married and you're not sustaining your spouse, you don't deserve the right either. You see, most men are in crisis these days because of the absence of an effective fatherhood role model. Probably his father was not a father role model either. This means that the man you were going to be married to is suffering from almost three to four generations of absentee fatherism. And you give him a child and you ask him to father the child and he has no idea of how to do that. When the disciples asked Jesus, Yeshua, to teach them how to pray, he said, Our Father who is in heaven, meaning our source, our foundation, our sustainer, our protector. So it means that if our earthly fathers fail, the Most High provides us with a model that we should follow. So now let's look at his relationship with many of his sons and Jesus or Yeshua as well. Let's look at the perfect father role model. 
The first thing God gave Adam was an image, that is an identity. Most of us struggle with this. That is why we join gangs. That is why we wear other people's identity, because we have none. If a man has no identity, then he is in trouble. He is unidentified. If he's unidentified, then he's nobody. Our men join gangs because the father never gave them a sense of identity and image. Jesus or Yeshua tells us he got his message from his father. Jesus gave them this answer. Verily truly I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son also does. For the father loves the son and shows him all he does. Yes, and he will show him even greater works than these, so that you will be amazed. You see, the father provides the imitation power for the sons. Our children suffer because they did not have an imitative model. Can our children imitate us? Can your children do in public everything you do in secret? Can your children say in public whatever you say in secret? In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working. Fathers teach good work ethics to their children. My father would tell me hard work doesn't break bones. Don't do things haphazardly, he says. Safety is key. Your work should speak for itself, my son. He always told me. Sound work ethics that fathers need to teach their sons. Number three is inheritance. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Fathers give their children an inheritance. Inheritance does not translate to material property. No, God gave Adam his heritage, which is the kingdom of God, a kingdom to govern, to rule. What do we have to give to our children as fathers? Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give arms. Provide yourself bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not. Where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. Inheritance here is a sense of God. I remember my father when driving would tell us, see this mansion. And he would tell us the story behind it and why it's now in ruins. He told us stories about a man who sold fried plantains to become rich and how his children could not maintain the achievements of their dad after his passing. The only thing that matters is the sense of God. My father would tell us, I can leave you the whole world, but if you miss this one, he said, you have missed it all. A sense of God. A good father leaves an inheritance for his children's children. What is this inheritance? The kingdom of God. A sense of God. There is a long list that I can go through, but I would stop here. You thought fathering was just putting food on the table, right? Some of the problems we have in our homes is because we were not taught. The woman is demanding from the man what he cannot deliver. And the man is frustrated because he cannot deliver what is being asked of him. He's been asked to perform what he was not trained to produce, to be a father. He responds in anger and the result most of the time is domestic violence in our homes. One of God's command given to Moses for building a nation was to honor fathers. God said, one of the key things to building a strong country and a nation is to honor fathers. God made this a national policy. But why? Why will God command this as national issues? Why will God tie the role of fathers to social survival and community development? He said, if you do this, you will live long. If there is a father figure, you will live long as an individual and as a community. The reason is because the first man, Adam, dishonored and disobeyed his father. He separated from his father and declared independence. The first crime recorded after the absence of a father figure 
was murder. Cain killed Abel. God is connecting the crimes in our society and our community with the dishonoring of the position and the function of a father. Our communities are getting destroyed because we have disobeyed the first law that guarantees long life, personally and as a community. Either we are not honoring the father or the position of fatherhood is not being occupied. It's being left absent. Or there is no effective father role model in position. The last verse of the Torah reads, Remember ye the law of Moshe my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and the judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. We need fathers. We need good father role models. Happy Father's Day to all our fathers. To my awesome father especially, Captain Amar. Kudos for the awesome job done. The lessons, the coaching that you've provided us with an authentic model that we can also pass on. Those trying to be fathers, kudos. Those who are not in position, we beg of you. Happy Father's Day.